Hey guys, how's it going? It's Wally. Welcome to another React video. So today we're going to be looking at a video called the Biggest Bar Fails of 2019. It's from a show that's on Paramount Network called Bar Rescue. Uh, if you haven't watched Paramount Network, I believe it used to be Spike. And if you don't know what Spike is, there was a great show on there called Blue Mountain State. That might be for another video. However, this show on Paramount Network is Bar Rescue. It's actually an interesting show. I've seen maybe one or two episodes of it. Uh, you know, shows like this, people think it might be a little scripted or over-dramatized. And that may be the case, but hey, it's still interesting TV. You got to think about it. You know, things like this are actually happening in bars and restaurants across the U.S. and across the world and everything. So, you know, they're just not being filmed. So, again, mid, is this possibly a little over-dramatized? Yes, but is it possibly happening, you know, in multiple bars and restaurants? Oh, absolutely. So, you know, going to be watching this video for me to kind of see, hey, is this a show I might want to get into? Go watch some of the old episodes. Uh, so you guys are going to come on a journey with me. Hopefully you guys enjoy it too. If you do enjoy the video, please drop a like. You guys don't forget to subscribe. And uh, well, let's get into the video. Oh boy. Why, why do I feel like John Taffer is going to be like my spirit animal? Get that little bit of rage in there. Although you really want to help people. Really, that's the main thing. But that rage kind of comes out. So... Let's see how bad it gets. I'm done. Stop freaking lying. Look at this, for Christ's sake. Shut it down. Clean this f place or I'm gone. Hey, you got Get it. on your knees. Get it. that up. I don't want you to wallow in your shit, John. Why don't you picture your kids down there with you? Well, that, from, that went from zero to a hundred like that. Holy cow. Hopefully there's a little backstory that goes into that one. Uh, the fact that it's in the intro of the video, I believe, means that it's in the video. So it'll be kind of interesting to see what made him blow up like that. But boy, that's not what I expect in that first little, like, what was that, like 10, 15, 20 seconds? 20. I want you to understand what's going on behind the bar. There's a huge gap between the amount of liquor that you sell and the amount of liquor that you use. For every drink you sell, they are either giving away or stealing two more drinks worth. I believe you are the biggest thief in the room. <laughs> no, I'm not. Why I am safe? I never get even one dollar on the cash register. Why I am safe? Oh, here's how. She gives them a big drink, doesn't she? What happens to her tip when she gives them twice the drink that you do? She make good tips. So she makes more money yep. because she gives away more of your product. That's stealing. You're giving away her liquor more than you should to get a bigger tip than you would. No, I put in the right for. Then how did this happen? That's not Tell my cell. I see you. Uh, <laughs> if you can. Got a little tattletale there, huh? Although, to be fair, look. If I was getting screwed over like that too, I would probably be feeling the same way. And it's like, hey, you know what? You got to own up to your mistakes. And, you know, you got to own the consequences. Continue to lie to me. I'm going to turn around and walk out of here and not do this bar. Ultimatum. Have you done it before? Have you done it? Yes or no? Oh, boy. Introducing yet another perfect place for an ad. At least it's a short one. I could go for some Arby's. Ooh. And some ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> I'm kind of a spoiled brat. I've probably been fired about seven times. And they have to hire two or three more people to replace whatever I was doing. And that's something to brag about? I, I don't get some people, honestly. I gave up law school for this bar. I could run this place by myself. Hold on. I gave up law school for this bar. I could run this place by myself. She gave up law school for this bar. I would doubt, highly, highly doubt, that her parents right there, assuming those are her parents, like, forced her 
to leave law school for this. I mean, look at his face right there. I, I think that kind of tells it all. I... Kitchen. <laughs> what? That's illegal. Yeah. Not to speak of how dangerous it yes, is. Yes, you have oil and you have these fryers and grills and I mean. I mean, look, I don't work in the kitchen. I have never had any culinary experience or anything like that. And I know you don't wear sandals in the kitchen. I look. I'm not a good cook, but I'm an expert in burning myself, and I know darn well I do not want the top of my feet burnt. That is going to be so painful. But if it works for her, just don't come crying when you burn the top of your foot. And carrying the food and oh, that's like that. Excuse me. Can, can we order food? Yeah. Can we get the um, the street tacos and the loaded nachos? Yeah, Ooh, sure. street tacos right, sound good. The orders again. Oh yeah. Oh. Chef Mike, the good old microwave. In front of steam table, which is supposed to be heated. Obviously, if it's not heated, that means that it's in a really bad temperature danger zone. Is a problem. Yep. That's how I got food poisoning. All right. So now we have the food that you just took out of the microwave. Oh. It just does not look appetizing. To me. No, not at all. Oh, that's how you're serving it? Wow. I wouldn't have eaten that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would have done the same. And now let's get to drinking. Guess you're done in the kitchen. It's obvious. It's a free-for-all. Yeah. <laughs> That's the look I would have given her too. You kidding me? Please, let me make them. No, she asked all of them. Yeah, but she likes mine better. No, she's not good. Yeah. Cheyenne, on the cool, like this is better to do. How I'm many? Told. How many? Can you move out of my way, dude? Like this is what I was told. But I'm on the clock. Now. I don't care. Like they uh, asked me, to, dude. Home. I'm not gonna take the bottle. They asked. You. They asked you because you were sitting. No, at the they table asked me because she. No, was. I'm not gonna argue with you. On the cool. Like, I'm doing you are arguing you know, with no, her, though. Make, what are they okay, then I'm going home. Bye. Bye, Mom. I'm leaving. Go I'm dead, Mommy. She's okay. It is her mom. And you're going to leave your parents, like, high and dry like that? Oh, I'm going home. Really? Really? Acting like a six-year-old wow. girl. Yeah. Get back back there. Yeah, yeah she did. Mom, she did. Shut up. Sit down. You don't even f***ing know. Just stop. This would be outrageous if it was in their living room. Look at the customers looking right at her. Be outrageous if it was a kid, even. Hey. It's like dinner and a show. Right? Gets it. Oh, oh no. My oh my god, the bottom. Oh my god, the bottom. Why? Oh my Yikes. God. <laughs> In the kitchen, they too. The balls. They call it craft food. Craft mm. food. From scratch, craft kitchen. Okay. That's what it says when I look them up online. Okay. That's what it says. But is that true? So those are the donkey balls. Yes. So the donkey balls. They go in the microwave. Very famous, super proud of, of these balls are cooked in the microwave. Let's yeah. go see, all of us. So hit the kitchen, hit the bar, and let's see what the hell's going on. Nick caused Chris to it's invest good. half a million dollars in this bar, and then he doesn't even come in dressed professionally, doesn't run it professionally. This bar is failing because of the I didn't see what he was wearing. and decisions that Nick made. Oh, oh that's him? I thought... It, honestly, I thought that was a guy that was just there as, like, a patron. Okay, now I see what he means that he's not dressed professionally. To make it? I, 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 don't even, I don't even know where to start here. Ah. This is as rookie as Sorry. it gets. When you don't know what to do, you do everything. You True. don't know which beers to put in, so you put in everything. Where's the dating? Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. You don't know what to put. That does look extremely disorganized. It's on your menu, do you? 
So you put on everything. The whole menu is available. Yeah, all yeah, day. yeah. The, all, all the brunch, the breakfast, and everything. So it's breakfast. Oh, you oh, serve oh. breakfast. Craft from scratch food. Yeah. You're a fucking liar. I mean, he's not wrong. What I saw out of Brad last night uh -oh. is a complete disconnection bartender with an attitude own bar, which has led to bad team morale and an untrained staff. So today in training, we're going to take it back to basics. All right. So last night, you guys were asked about a gimlet, which is a very much classic cocktail. What's in a gimlet? I have no idea. So nobody like comes in <laughs> and orders a gimlet ever, which I have never sold in 16 years, not once. Bartender with, I think we found the bartender with an attitude. Holy cow. Look at that RBF right there. Yikes. I'll just tell you right now, Elise says a bartender should know a gimlet. I don't no. know what Elise's deal is with the attitude, but John brought me here to help. And Elisa is not helping any of that happen. What's no. your drink you served last night? Alice. The Alice? Would you mind maybe jumping back here and making it? Devin, you're the manager, oh, man. What Just game? Are you just winging it? I mean, are you counting? What are you doing? No. A little bit of both, I guess. A little, little bit of both. That watermelon still is too punchy. Look at that eye roll. That is an expert eye roll right there. Shouldn't be a bartender. Needs to be an eye roll expert. And Elisa, in no way am I knocking your drink. I just think the proportions might be off. But the whole point, the whole point of this training, Elisa, is to improve and get better. I hope I didn't offend you. I hope I didn't offend you. That seemed like the most insincere hope I didn't offend you I have ever heard in my life. But I'll give him the benefit of the, the benefit of the doubt. Like, she's, like, he's just trying to help, and she's acting like that. Are you kidding me? I, I'd be pretty pissed off, too. But still, come on, you need to make that sound a little more sincere. How about exactly food? what she What's going want? on back there, chef? You like burnt meat? Looks like the kitchen's on fire. Yeah, it is. The kitchen's oh. on fire? Let's go in there and watch. Yeah. Oh, boy. Why is that grill burning? That grill has not been cleaned for as long as Oh, this is the one from the beginning. So much fat. Gotcha. That's why the grill is on fire. Oh. Why is the grill on fire? I guess too hot. <laughs> you guess what? It's too hot. I want you to help me do something. That laugh. I don't believe that. Oh, that's it? Cash register to run this bar. Here's a $100 bill to order one drink okay. and pay with that $100 bill. What can I get for you, baby? Twenty-five, baby. Hmm. Out of a hundred. Ninety-four, twenty-five. I'm out of one. Walking next door. We have two dollars uh -oh. and hundred-dollar bills. The next person who orders a drink takes the whole damn place down. How do you run a business like this? Listen, folks, we can't do this. Shut it down. There's no way we can tr do transactions here. This is unbelievable. Come back in two nights. We'll show you how this is done. Okay? Okay. Look, in the two episodes, yeah, in the two episodes that I watched, like, look, I agree with him. He is spot on. Obviously, he's very successful. He knows exactly what he's doing. But, like, something like that where, like, come on. Like, he knows that they're not going to be able to, you know, accommodate all of these hundreds that are coming in. And he's just trying to throw that wrench in. And don't get me wrong. I get it. It's their... um what do they call it? A uh, stress test or uh, something like that. Like, I understand that's what it is and you need to identify those weaknesses. But like, how do you identify all the other weaknesses if you go and you throw that wrench in, in the beginning? You have to shut it down immediately. I don't know. Like, I, I would have waited a little bit longer, seen how things were going and then done it. I mean, unless he thought he saw everything he needed to see, in which case, then yeah, that's fine. But, but still... Change. Uh, while you stopped for your Slurpee, I shut your bar down. 
Okay. They ran out of money. Okay, I ran to the store. That first store didn't. But have you had it. enough time getting the. No, well, she was getting the change out of the uh, of the this. Bolero. Come with me. I'd like everybody to know this. When you guys ran out of money, in the height of your frustration, your owner went across the street and got a Slurpee. <laughs> That's how I'll she let took it care of you guys. Are you That's how money? she took care of you. Yeah, take care of your bar. Come on. Jesus. Okay, yeah. Um... <laughs> It's that's crazy. Again, it's the same type of thing. But like when she walked into the bar again with all the money, I didn't see a Slurpee. The question is, where did that come from? I think that might be where the little manufactured over dramatization of things, you know, kind of comes in. Um, but at the same time, dude, it's it seems like an interesting show. Like I'd like to kind of see how you know other transformations kind of go. Like that's the biggest bar fails. I, I kind of want to see again biggest transformations, and I know they have you know tons of videos out there about them. So um, hopefully you guys like the video, the biggest bar fails, and everything like that. If you guys want to see more bar rescue stuff, again throw that down in the comments, drop a like. Again, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, that really helped me out, um, and uh, we'll we'll kind of see which uh, which ones seem to be the more interesting ones for you guys. Um, and then we'll we'll kind of go from there. But again, if you guys like the bar rescue videos, uh, let me know. Uh, then I'll definitely keep uh, keep going on with them. But you guys, we'll definitely see you guys next time. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me.